winding through titanic red rocks. I'm 14. It's the first road trip my family's ever taken. It's attached to a funeral for my dad's boss's wife. Claro, of course. My mom repeats at every stop, at every merge, por Dios. We drive from Florida to Colorado in a van with no AC, it's July. These vacaciones, I want to show you this country, my father says, America. The word fills the car with the air of fable and triumph. I came here with nothing but a bag full of books, jobless. You know, I learned English from the radio, country music. My sister turns up her Walkman, and I groan at the thought of listening to country music for the next nine hours. This is your country, he exclaims, as if announcing it to the valleys when we stop at a lookout. He sermonizes to bronze statues at rest stops, fields of open sunflowers, the majesty of purple mountains rivers, bridges, and patches of antennas and wind turbines. Oh, say, can you see by the Dan's early light? Yes, Dan's early. When learning the anthem, he claimed this adjective as the most glorious exclamation in the English language. He greeted strangers at the grocery store with, what a Dan's early day. The afterglow of sunsets, Danzerly. The trailing of hysterical laughter, Danzerly. A pelican's wingspan, a coupon mailer, gliding a knife across a new tub of butter, all Danzerly. He now knows it's dawn's early, but on this road trip, it's a mystical compound. We attend the funeral, bagpipes, tears, strange family glances. Back on the road, he continues with, for the land of the free and the home, driving too slowly at every speed trap. After 22 years in this country, he's still afraid of cops. We rehearse the protocol, just in case, act patriotic, smile, he continues talking like a loro mojado, a wet parrot, as my mom says. The drive back is full of stories of factories he's worked in. He glosses over discrimination. This is your country, he repeats, in an accent I watch people imitate and smirk at, electing to speak to me instead of my parents. You are American, he says. Not naively, but brazenly grateful to live under this dawn's early sky.